Hey guys, what's up? Naomi here with the full week of workouts at the gym for beginners. For this week of workouts, we'll be doing three workouts, one full body, one lower body, and one upper body. So it won't be too focused on either lower body or upper body, it'll be a good mix of a little bit of everything. If you're familiar with my channel, some of these workouts you might recognize because all these workouts are on my channel already in follow along versions, but this for this week of workouts, I won't be doing them in a follow along style. I'll just be doing a general overview of the whole entire workout so that you guys can get a good gist of what to do for the whole entire for the workout for that day. But otherwise, if you do want the follow along version where you can follow along with me step by step throughout the whole entire workout, I'll leave links to every single one of the workout videos in the description so that you guys can do that as well. As you guys know, my descriptions are very organized, so make sure to check the description box for timestamps for every day of the week, as well as the full written workouts for every workout that's in this whole entire week as well. Today's video is sponsored by Gainful, who is a personalized sports nutrition subscription company. I'll give you guys some more details about them in just a little bit. As I was saying previously, Gainful is a sports nutrition subscription that sends you customized supplements based on your needs, whether you want to lose weight, build muscle, or simply live a healthier lifestyle in order to better help you reach your fitness goals because we know nutrition is not one size fits all. Gainful's products are developed by their science advisory board of sports nutrition experts from pro and Olympic level teams. How cool is that? And their supplements are made from simple, effective, and quality ingredients with no gluten, soy, fillers, artificial flavors, or dyes, or sweeteners, which we all need a little more of, so I love that. Gainful's customized protein powder contains all nine essential amino acids, which really help aid in regulating all the things and functions inside your body to help keep everything balanced and you performing at your best. If you are keto, lactose-free, or plant-based, Gainful can customize your protein to fit your dietary needs as well. So in order to receive your customized supplements, you first need to take Gainful's quiz like I am here. And then based off of your answers, Gainful will formulate your supplements for you to give you the most effective blend to help you reach your goals. My current goals are to maintain my strength and build muscle, so I'm going to answer the questions according to that. I'll share more about my own personal Gainful protein blend in just a bit. But I really enjoy this whole process with Gainful because I feel like they definitely take more time to understand their consumers on a personal level and actually caring for their health, making sure that they're getting the right nutrients for their body, not just selling them a cookie cutter product. Concerned because your goals change over time? No worries. You can always change your goals on Gainful's website anytime you want to to make sure that your supplements reflect those. Your Gainful subscription also includes free one-on-one -on -one access to registered dietitian as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and open my monthly subscription box from Gainful. Um, I love how they do their packaging. It's so, so, so beautiful. Beautiful. So if you're, if you're a sucker for packaging like me, you will love this. So the top here, I'm going to open it up. It says, scientific studies show people devoted to active lifestyles are perceived as more successful, confident, and attractive to their peers. That's you. All right. So in my... In my monthly subscription box, I have my protein powder. It says my name on it, which I love. That's so, so, so cute. So, so cute. So this protein powder for me specifically, because again, it is customized from person to person. I myself took that test too initially when I started out with Gainful. And so one scoop is 120 calories, has 1.5 grams of fat, but one, grams of, one gram of carbs and 24 grams of protein. So very good calories and macros there. And then the really cool thing about Gainful is because, you know, typically when you buy a protein powder, you're, you buy one tub and you're stuck with that flavor um, for until you finish it, really. And so if you want to try different flavors, you have to buy like separate tubs, you know, and that can definitely be um, quite the investment. So what I like about what Gainful does, and which is so smart, and I've never thought about this before either, is that they have their, oopsies, their little um, flavor boost packs. And so this protein powder itself, that has no flavor, it's unflavored. And so you have your little uh, flavor boost packs here. And so for me, I have a variety pack, which I'll go over these in just a little bit. I have Madagascar vanilla, I have rich cocoa, cinnamon toast, and oopsies, chocolate peanut butter. So a lot of awesome, fun, different flavors. And so when you get your protein powder, you also get, a, you can also choose your flavor packs as well. Sorry, your flavor boosts as well. Um, and so, you know, so you're not stuck with just one flavor of protein 
for a whole month or like for however long you have that protein powder you can just you can do a different flavor every day multiple times a day if you want depending on your mood depending on if it's raining outside or you know whatnot and whatnot um depending on the time of day you know whatever you're feeling you know you can mix up your protein flavor and i love that that's so awesome that's just so versatile and caps just so much variety um and just what and just one bag of protein so anyways in this variety pack here if you decide you want to do the variety pack, this is what is in it. And then I'll try one of the flavors today as well. So I have matcha green tea, strawberry cream, rich chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, Madagascar vanilla, cafe mocha, and cookies and cream. So again, even more um, fun and unique flavors in here. So I think what I want to try today is actually the matcha green tea because um, that's a really, that's a very unique flavor of protein in my opinion that I don't see, see um, done often. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this matcha green tea flavor in just a little bit. So besides my protein powder, I also have my hydration packs, which are just gonna be like kind of all around, uh, like you can drink this anytime during the day. For me specifically, I would drink this probably during my workouts specifically, but then you can also drink it all throughout the day as well. But I think this would be perfect to drink throughout your workout, just for that, for me, because I mean, I love water, but sometimes having that little bit of flavor just uh, gives you a little bit, little bit of mm, thing you need during your workout, you know? Um, so this flavor that I have is strawberry lemonade, and then let me go ahead and open this. Actually, let me read the supplement facts to you first, and then I'll open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. So one pack has 15 calories, three grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, and then also has a calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. One little pack just like this. So it's really easy to just throw in your backpack, um, your gym bag, your purse, and whatnot. Um, these are also really great too for recovery. So post-workout, I was saying that they would be great to drink during your workout, and they would also be great to drink post-workout as well, um, maybe alongside a protein shake. So the last thing I have in my monthly subscription box is Gainful's pre-workout and the flavor of watermelon. So again, each one of these is customized to whatever your goals are and what your current like physique is and and yeah, what your, what your current physique is and then what your goal is where you want to be as well. Um, but so for me, the supplements for this specifically, one scoop is five calories, has two grams of carbs, it also has l citrulline mallet. 4,000 milligrams, creatine, 3,000 milligrams, beta alanine, 1,500 grams, leucine isoleucine, uh, sorry, leucine, isoleucine, valine, and L theanine. Um, and then it has 150 milligrams of natural caffeine as well. Um, so, really, for me, this is the ingredients wise, perfect perfect workout. This is everything that I look for personally in a pre workout um, because a lot of times, Pre-workouts don't have alcetylene, creatine, and beta alanine all together. Some, a lot of times they have like one or the other, maybe two out of three. But for me, I like all three of them in my pre-workout. So of course, your pre-workout, you're gonna wanna take that right before you work out. Some people like to take it to mix it in with like their hydration packets too. Um, through, to drink throughout their workout so that they, they're they getting that pre-workout pump all throughout their workout and not just at the very beginning. For me, I always take my pre-workout right before my workouts. I would also say that if you're not, uh, if you're new to pre-workout and are a little bit wary or you know um, hesitant to try it, definitely start with at least with just a half at most, if an, or maybe even a little bit less than half a scoop, um, just to see how your body reacts to it first and how you enjoy it. And then if you like it and you're feeling good, feeling more comfortable with it, and you want to increase the intensity of your pre-workout pump, then um, then bump it up to like three fourths of a scoop or a full scoop, and so on and so forth. So pre-workout, it's really great for if for those days when all you want to do is lie in bed or sit on your couch or you're just sitting you're just sitting in your car like trying to like convince yourself to go to the gym because you know you should but you really don't feel like it take some pre-workout and your body will just want to move and you will get your booty to the gym in no time so this week or really any week when you're just like when you know you should go to the gym but you're not really feeling like it and you're just like trying to make any excuse and trying to talk yourself out of going to the gym you know and trying to find any excuse and not go to the gym Take some of your gainful pre-workout and you'll be slaying your workout in no time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test here, guys. As I said earlier, I wanted to try the matcha green tea flavor because that's a new flavor for me. I'm gonna have water and ice in here already.
I'm gonna take one scoop of my protein powder and put it in here. So I think I'm just gonna mix these in together. But for me personally, I also like to mix my protein powder with milk too because I feel like milk um, gives it, like intensifies the flavor and makes it like more wholesome because sometimes when you mix your protein powder with the, with just water sometimes the flavor like even if it tastes good it, feel, it tastes uh, kind of thin you know um and so if you've never tried mixing your protein powder with uh milk depending on the flavor of course because some flavors might be kind of weird to mix with milk um but definitely try mixing it with milk if you want like a more whole um wholesome more uh, full flavor all right guys taste test full first impressions here we go i feel like it's very refreshing i like matcha here and there like i'm not like a huge it's not like like I see matcha, I have to have matcha. You know, I like matcha here and there. Um, but what I like about the matcha, this flavor is that it's not in your face. You can taste the matcha, but it's not overwhelming and it's not too bitter or anything like that. It's a good mix. So definitely I feel like if you do like a stronger um, matcha flavor, you could, cause I did like the whole thing with, um, with ice and water, like 12 ounces. So if you'd like a stronger, a more intense matcha flavor, you could definitely do less water, um, but I like it. This is would definitely be a good, I feel like, cozy day, kind of, you know, stormy, rainy weather. I would definitely pull out this matcha flavor and have that. It's very light, very refreshing. I also wanna talk a little bit more about protein, just um, because I feel like protein is one of the most under, misunderstood supplements and so really quick I could talk about protein powder for a long time but let me just uh, go over it really quick so protein powder so protein the cell the micronutrient protein 100% necessary for for everyone whether or not you work out everyone needs to eat protein and in, in order to sustain um, our bodies as far as working out goes and building muscle protein even more necessary because your body literally your body literally cannot build muscle without um, if it's if it doesn't have enough protein. Just like a plant needs soil and the nutrients in the soil and the sun and water, our bodies need protein in order to build muscle. And if we don't get enough protein, it it's basically impossible to build to build muscle. Um, even if you're just wanting to build a little bit of muscle to tone, protein 100% necessary. So protein powder is just one source that you can get protein from because you can also eat dairy you can eat eggs you know all the different kinds of meats you know chicken um pork and uh steak etc and fish you know there's so many there's an endless amount of there's an endless sources of protein that you can consume in order to meet your protein goal protein powder is just simply one source of protein that you can consume to to help meet your protein goal so you so protein powder is not necessary at all to build muscle but protein is there's nothing magical in protein powder that's going to overnight help you know help um, help you build muscle or, or anything like that you know so protein powder again one source of protein that you can consume to help meet your protein goal to help build muscle but protein powder itself is not at all necessary to to build muscle but protein itself is but for me I am someone who when it comes to protein that is the hardest macronutrient that um, that I struggle to get in on a daily basis so I definitely like to take I take protein shakes on a regular daily basis just to help meet my protein just help meet my protein goal because when it comes to food you know I enjoy eating food I don't always enjoy making food and so sometimes having something simple and convenient like a protein powder just to mix up and especially with all the different um, flavor packs that uh, that Gainful has it makes it so easy to just you know to get in your protein and make it fun and interesting so you're not eating or drinking the same kind of protein protein shakes every single day all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and Taste this, this gainful hydration um, hydration pack in the flavor strawberry lemonade next. All right, guys. So initial taste test of the strawberry lemonade flavor. Here we go. It 
It's definitely a little bit more tart, a little bit more sour. Very refreshing, very light. I like to flavor a lot. Um, I've probably filled about to here with water and ice. So this would really be the perfect thing to drink during your workout um, and right after your workout to help your body refill, rehydrate, and recover. All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to put my earrings on earlier. So I put them back on. Anyways, I've had so much fun showing you guys my Gainful monthly subscription box and I have, I've had so much fun receiving them as well. I just think, you know, and I love, I love, I mean, who doesn't love getting packages sent to their door, you know, and opening it up, it's so much fun. And it's really just such a positive motivator um, in addition to, for me anyway, to my day, you know, when I open up my Gainful box. So if you guys wanna check out Gainful, of course, you guys know that I have a discount for you. Check that link in the description. It's gonna be at the very top there. So click on that link it's going to give you $15 off your first month of subscription at Gainful. Anyway guys, I have done enough talking here. I'm sure you guys are ready to get this week of workout started, so let's do exactly that. First up, we'll be getting our bodies nice and warmed up by doing the Stairmaster for 5 minutes. Now that we're warmed up, we're going to head over to the leg press machine, which we'll be doing three sets of 12 reps on. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the machine and add plates to the side. To know how to adjust the machine to fit your needs, you simply just have to experiment with different adjustments to see what works best for you. As far as how much weight you should be using, I always recommend starting with the lightest weight possible, in this case just a machine with no additional weight, and when you can comfortably do 12-15 to 15 reps with good form, then increase the weight. For a step-by-step -step tutorial on proper form for the leg press, check out my leg press video linked in the description. Place your feet on the platform so that they are about directly under your shoulders if you are in a standing position. Exhale as you flex your leg muscles to push the weight away from you and inhale as you lower the weight back down. Every time you go down and then back up, that equals one rep and we'll be doing 12 of them. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Let's get ready to do some seated cable rows. This exercise targets your back muscles and we'll be doing three sets of 12 reps. The silver thing I'm holding is called a V-bar attachment, which is standard for this machine and the one I'd recommend using as you're starting out. Just like the leg press, if you're not sure how much weight to use, simply use the lightest weight and when you can comfortably do 12 to 15 reps with good form, then increase the weight. Every time you pull back and then extend your arms back out, that equals one rep and we'll be doing 12 of them. I'd recommend sitting as far back as you can while keeping a slight bend in your knee at all times. Also make sure to keep your back straight throughout the entire movement and point your elbow straight behind you when you pull back to keep it as back focused as possible. Starting our final exercise of this workout, pectoral slash chest flies for 3 sets of 12 reps. This machine will work your chest muscles. Go ahead and adjust the machine to fit your needs and select the weight you'd like to use. You want the handles to be about chest height. For a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this machine, please watch my how to use gym equipment to upper body machines video linked down below. Exhale as you push your hands together and inhale as you extend your arms back out. We're officially done with the core part of this workout. Congratulations on taking another step closer to your goals. I'm going to finish this workout up with 5 minutes walking at a moderate pace on the treadmill, but if you'd like to go longer or opt for a different cooldown activity, feel free to do so. Let's get started. Fix pull downs for 4 sets of 12 reps, meaning that we'll do 12 pull downs, reps for 60 seconds, and then do 12 more for a total of 4 times. Starting in 3, 2, 
One. Exhale as you pull down and inhale as you extend your arms back up. As you pull down, make sure to point your elbows down to the ground as well. This exercise will target your back muscles. Sleep with the doors unlocked Headache and sore throat Constantly hung over yeah. Let's get ready to start on the chest press machine in 3, 2, 1 We'll be doing 12 reps for 4 sets As you push the handles away from you, exhale And as you bring the back towards you, inhale When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to this Let's do four sets of 12 reps on the overhead press machine. This machine will work our shoulder muscles. Exhale as you push up and inhale as you lower the weight back down. Feel free to use either set of handles on the machine. Time for some bicep gains, bicep curls for 4 sets of 12 reps. Make sure to keep your elbows firmly planted on the cushion at all times. Exhale as you contract your biceps to bring the weight up and inhale as you lower the weight back down. Coming in hot for those tricep gains. Let's do tricep extensions for 4 sets of 12 reps. Keep those elbows planted firmly on the cushion at all times. Exhale as you flex your triceps to push down and extend your arms and inhale as you bring the handles back towards your face. Starting, we'll be warming up on the treadmill for 5 minutes. No need to go super fast on the treadmill, simply just go at your normal walking pace with no incline or decline. Now that we're nice and warmed up, we're gonna head over to the leg press machine next, which will work your overall leg muscles. Feel free to use any leg press of your choice that you have available to you at your gym. We'll be doing 3 sets of 15 reps on the leg press. For this exercise, you'll want to adjust the height of the machine so that it's proportional to your leg length. Again, I explained how to do this in my other videos, linked in the description if you're not sure how to do this. From here, position your feet on the platform so that they're about shoulder width apart. Starting with knees bent, contract your leg muscles to push off the platform. Go as far as you can without fully locking your knees. Then bend your knees to lower yourself back down towards the platform. As you push off the platform, exhale and as you return back to the starting position, inhale. Let's head over to the leg extension machine and I'll give you a few tips on how to properly perform this exercise. The leg press machine will target your quad muscles. Starting, adjust the machine to fit your body. Have a seat on the machine with your back flush on the back side of the seat with the cushion right above your feet. From here, contract your quads to lift the weights up and extend your feet out in front of you. Lower your feet back down and repeat. As you lift the weights up, exhale and as you lower the weight back down, inhale. Make sure to keep your booty on the chair at all times. If you find that you're being lifted up out of your seat as you lift the weight up, I'd recommend lowering the amount of weight that you're using. Let's head over to the leg curl machine and I'll explain how to properly perform this exercise. This exercise will target your hamstring muscles and you can do either a seated or lying hamstring curl, whichever you prefer and have access to. I'll be using a seated leg curl machine today. 
Adjust the top cushion if you need to to lock your legs into place, then simply contract your hamstrings to bend your knees and bring the lower cushion that your feet are right on top of towards you. Once you can't bring the cushion any closer to you, extend your legs back out and repeat. Exhale as you contract your hamstrings to bring your feet towards you and inhale as you return back to your starting position. Up next, we have our final exercise, hip abductions. This exercise will target your glute muscles. When sitting on the machine, start with legs right next to each other and make sure to adjust the machine so the pads are right outside of your legs. From here, contract your glutes to push your knees out away from each other. Once you can't extend your legs out any further, bring your legs back together in the center and repeat. Exhale as you contract your glutes to push your knees out and inhale as you return back to starting position. We're gonna head over to the treadmill now for our final 5 minutes before we complete this workout. Nothing too intense, just your normal walking speed as we did in the beginning. Thanks so much for stopping by and working out with me this week, guys. If you enjoyed this video, of course, don't forget, to, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, do that and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on my other workouts and fitness tips. If you're not too sick and tired of me yet, make sure to also like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for more fitness and nutrition tips. And of course, don't forget to check out Gainful for your own personalized nutrition supplements. The link in the description will give you $15 off your first month of Gainful. Thanks so much again and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.